Do you remember when you could buy a dozen eggs for 99 cents? It seems like it was only yesterday, but unfortunately those days are now gone for good. Thanks to a variety of factors, egg prices have risen to levels that we have never seen before. And in some areas of the country, significant shortages are being reported. In fact, things are so bad that Whole Foods is apparently now limiting egg carton purchases to two per person. This is extremely alarming because millions of U.S. households have traditionally relied on eggs as a cheap source of protein. Unfortunately, it appears that eggs will not be cheap for the foreseeable future. According to an article that originally appeared in the Los Angeles Times, the average price of a dozen eggs in California actually reached $7.37 this week. Egg cases were bare across Los Angeles County this week, from Trader Joe's in Long Beach to Amazon Fresh in Inglewood Target in Mid-City to Rouse in Glendale. Those such as Hodges who found cartons were shocked by the sudden spike in price. I've never seen anything like this, said Anna Sanchez, 32, who scoured the half-empty shelves at a smart and final in University Park looking for a dozen eggs for less than $10. The cheaper ones just aren't there. The average retail price for a dozen large eggs jumped to $7.37 in California this week, up from $4.83 at the beginning of December and just $2.35 at this time last year, data from the U.S. Department of Agriculture show. The cause is an unprecedented outbreak of bird flu that has killed tens of millions of egg layers nationwide. Among these are millions of cage-free hens California relies on to comply with Proposition 12, the 2018 Animal Welfare Initiative that took effect last year. Can you imagine paying $7 for a carton of eggs? I certainly cannot. Thankfully, prices are not quite as high elsewhere in the nation. One of the reasons why egg prices in California are so absurd is because of a new law that went into effect last January. Since the law went into effect last January, all eggs sold in California have to be produced in cage-free settings. But cage-free production takes much more space than conventional egg production, and California producers aren't able to keep up with demand. They're selling everything they can possibly grow, Maddox said. The shortage is especially hard for lower-income families in California who've long relied on eggs as a low-cost source of protein. Beneficiaries of the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children, or WIC, face strict rules on what kinds of eggs they can buy. Only a dozen large, white, cage-free eggs are eligible for WIC dollars. Historically, those have been the cheapest option at most stores and often are the first to sell out. Of course, egg prices have also been skyrocketing in states that do not have such laws. All over the nation, people are now paying four or five dollars for a dozen eggs, and many believe that our ongoing bird flu pandemic is the primary factor that's causing prices to go completely nuts. But egg prices are up significantly more than other foods, even more than chicken or turkey, because egg farmers were hit harder by the bird flu. More than 43 million of the 58 million birds slaughtered over the past year to control the virus have been egg-laying chickens, including some farms with more than a million birds apiece in major egg-producing states like Iowa. But even with the cost increases, eggs remain relatively cheap compared to the price of other proteins like chicken or beef, with a pound of chicken breast going for $4.42 on average in November and a pound of ground beef selling for $4.85. More than 50 million chickens and turkeys have also been wiped out in Europe, so when you combine the two totals, so far well over 100 million chickens and turkeys have been killed in just the United States and Europe. And there is no end to the bird flu pandemic in sight. 
This is a major crisis, but up to this point, the mainstream media has not been focusing on it very much. On top of everything else, egg farmers have had to deal with rapidly rising costs in recent months. In fact, there are some in the industry that insist that the huge cost increases that egg farmers have been hit with over the past year are even a bigger factor than the bird flu. But the president and CEO of the American Egg Board Trade Group, Emily Metz, said she believes all the cost increases farmers have faced in the past year were a bigger factor in the price increases than bird flu. When you're looking at fuel costs go up, and you're looking at feed costs go up as much as 60%, labor costs, packaging costs, all of that, those are much, much bigger factors than bird flu for sure, Matt said. Farmers are doing all they can to limit the spread, but the disease is easily spread by migrating wild birds, and the virus can be picked up on clothing or vehicles. Many anticipate that these costs will only go higher in 2023, and that'll mean even higher prices for the rest of us. I really feel badly for small bakeries. They use lots and lots of eggs, and if egg prices continue to go up, many small bakeries could soon be forced to close. Small businesses, especially you live and die by what your food costs are, said Tracy Ann DeVore, owner of No Reality Pie in Eagle Rock, who recently let go a dishwasher to stem rising costs. If this keeps up for another three to six months, it could be a tipping point for some bakeries to close. For DeVore and many others, the new egg crisis, combined with uncertainty about when it could ebb, has been more unsettling than the gradual price creep of dairy products, flour, and produce. At some point, you can't raise the price anymore, Tavor said. There's been points where I've cried recently because I thought, how are we gonna keep going with this? All of a sudden, eggs are out, said Glenn Corrado, founder of the World Harvest Food Bank in Arlington Heights, which serves between 100 and 200 families a day from three to four packs were down to one. Meanwhile, more families are coming to the food bank where volunteers dressed as the three kings passed out free toys and about a dozen shoppers filled carts with fresh produce, frozen meat, and loaves of bread early Friday afternoon. Most products were out on display for the taking, but eggs have been rationed to small plastic bags in the back. Inflation on basic grocery staples such as milk and flour has burdened poor families for months. But the current egg shortage has been particularly tough for families who rely on the federal Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for women, infants, and children. Our food industry has been stable for so many years, but now we are witnessing a dramatic shift. Costs are going through the roof and supply problems just keep popping up. Just like we have witnessed at other times, empty shelves are starting to be reported at certain supermarkets around the nation. Social media is brimming with reports of missing food items at Kroger supermarket locations across the country. A repeat of early 2020 when toilet paper and other essentials ran bare. The start of 2023 is seeing a lot of empty shelves at Kroger according to numerous reports, some containing video evidence of lingering supply chain problems. Not only are Kroger shelves missing many essentials, but prices for things that are still in stock, most notably eggs, are skyrocketing to unprecedented levels. We are getting dangerously close to the days that I have been warning about as we are hit by one crisis after another throughout 2023, I expect our supply chain problems to continue to intensify. So, I would encourage you to stock up while you still can. Yes, prices may seem ridiculously high now, but the truth is that they aren't going to be getting any lower than they are at this moment. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. We look forward to reading your comments under this video.